Hello and welcome to the Aramaic of the week. We are in Daniel 2.38, continuing our, our interpretation that Daniel gives the interpretation of the dream to Nebuchadnezzar. So uh, let's dive in. Uva Kol D, um, this is written, uh, this is a Kathiv Kare. It's not written correctly in the Hebrew. The Masoretes didn't touch it, but they put the right vowels underneath. So it should be Dayarin. Um, Uva kol di da yarin, bene anasha kayata kayat bara. Okay, so and in all who are uh, dwelling, that is the sons of the man, people, children of humanity, children of the corn, um, and the beast of the field. Okay, let's let's go ahead and stop there. So u, that's the, that's and, uh, because of the bump letter, b, uh, it goes u, um, uh, the, the, the vav goes u in front of uh, bait, mem, and pe, bump, the bump letters. Um, kol is all, just like in Hebrew, and in all, d, this is the relative pronoun, who, that, which, and in all that, or all who, I think we need to stick an r in here, who are dwelling, so dayarin is, is what the form should be. It is masculine, plural. It is a participle. It's the base participle, the G participle, or the all, we might say in, in Aramaic, call in Hebrew. And in all who are dwelling, that is the, the sons of the man, the children of people, the humanity, in other words, uh, it's a Hebrew expression. Bene, this is masculine, plural construct, sons of. The makaif kind of gives a hint of that. Um, it's, it's again, the Sariyod is a masculine plural construct. The man, so Anash is man, human being. Uh, Kamatz Aleph is the. Um, so the sons of the man uh, and the beast of the field, uh, all who are dwelling, not just humans, but also the beast of the field. Um, so uh, Kayat, um, this, this Patak Tav is a feminine singular construct in both Hebrew and Aramaic beast of, and then uh, bara. This is not bara as in create. That's what I thought when I first saw this in Hebrew, you know, uh, Genesis 1-1, barashit bara Elohim, in the beginning God created. But that's not what this is. This is a kamatz aleph, that means the, and bar is uh, field. So beast of the field. So, and everybody, that is the, the children of men, the beast of the field, um, uh, the of, Shamaya, um, Yahav, Bidak, U, Hash, La, Tak. Okay, so the beast of the field and the bird of the skies. So Shamayim in Hebrew, uh, it's Shamaya in Aramaic. The Kamatz Aleph is the, but you can see the plural of the Yod and Shema, uh, not here, but Shamayim, uh, heavens, the bird of the skies, uh, he gave. Uh, Yahav. This is um, a base stem call. Uh, well, in, in Aramaic, we would say the uh, Paal. Uh, see, Paal. Uh, it's the Grunstam, the G stem, perfect uh, tense, uh, third masculine singular. So he gave. And in all who are dwelling, that is, the sons of the man, the beast of the field, and the bird of the skies, to all of them, he gave. Um, be doc in your hand, Nebuchadnezzar. I mean, little grandiose, because I'm sure that Nebuchadnezzar didn't command the birds, you know, all right, come here, crow, you know, but anyway, little hyperbole, but he's a king. That's what you do with kings. Flattery, flattery. Um, ba means in, yod, hand, as in also Hebrew, or yod in Aramaic, I think. Uh, and then the, this k is the second masculine singular uh, pronomial suff or possessive suffix in Aramaic, uh, in your hand, um, uh, looks feminine in Hebrew, but it's it's masculine, it, it seems, in Aramaic. And he caused you to rule. So va is and, the, the he indicates that this is a H stem, a causative stem. In, in Hebrew, we would say it's hifiel. Uh, in Aramaic, it's hafael, I think. Um, and then, so it's the causative, cause to rule to rule, shalot, 
Uh, and then that's the, uh, again, objects, in this case, the object suffix caused you to rule. Okay, so, and in everybody who is dwelling, that is the sons of man, the beast, the field, the birds of the skies he gave. Um, uh, by the way, son, son of man, um, we're getting, we're, Enosh is, is in Daniel 7, I believe, uh, bar, bar Enosh. Uh, but anyway, here we have B'nai uh, Anosh. Okay. Um, and he caused you to rule um, Bakolahon an, uh, Anta, Anta, Hu, uh, Resha, Di, Dahava. Okay. He caused you to rule Bakolahon um, over all them, so this ba is in or over, and then hon, I believe, is them, a little bit extended, and then kol is all again. So this is basically uh, uh, a bunch of um, um, add-ons with, with all, in, them, all. Um, he caused you to rule over them all. Um, ant, anta, so this is you, uh, same as Hebrew, except the noon, the noon assimilates in Hebrew. We don't see the noon, ata. Um, so you are he. Uh, who is he? He is she. Anyway, so uh, you are he who is the rosha, the head, a resha. Resh is uh, in Hebrew is also rosh is head. Uh, the head of uh, the gold, uh, the hava. So you'll notice that the kamatz he is an alternative form of the. Uh, kamatz aleph is what I prefer, uh, but this is also the, the head. You are he who is the head of the gold. Uh, dahav, it's zahav in Hebrew, but with the dental shift in Aramaic, it's dahav in Aramaic. Um, so in the image, who is the gold? Why you, Nebuchadnezzar, you're the gold. You're the head. Um, you're the you're the king of Sham, you know, uh, you're on top. So he's interpreting the dream, and in all who are dwelling, that is the sons of man and the beast of the field and the bird of the skies, God has given them into your hand and caused you to rule over them all. You are he who is the head of the gold. Okay, so the interpretation, Lord willing, will continue next week with the next verse. This has been the Aramaic of the week.